everybody comes back for the carrot. And today we are going to pass that secret on to you so you too can have the urban wood carrots in the pleasure of your home with your friends. We're going around the Mediterranean, my friends. We're gonna jump from this coast to that coast to this coast to my belly. I do not peel my carrots. I love to have the outside skin on it. I find that that's got a lot of good flavor in it. We don't need it to be pretty. Pretty food is boring food. Right into a saute pan, nice and hot. If you don't have a giant wood fire oven like we do down here, then you can do this in your oven. A high broil, that's at 550. That's where it burns and chars and cooks things. The idea is to cook the outside while still having that nice crispy crunchy inside. We're no longer cooking the vitamins out by blanching it, the old French technique. Now we're retaining the vitamins of the carrot and actually enhancing the flavor. No more pulling stuff out, we're putting the stuff back in. I have hazelnuts, cashews, pine nuts, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, some of the Aleppo pepper, coriander seed. We're just gonna toast this up to get the natural oils coming out of here. You can already smell it. It's already cooking in there, nice hot cast iron. You can do this on a, your stove top. You can smell that. Beautiful, It's exactly what we're looking for. The mortar pestle, old as a caveman right here. We're just gonna smash that up. Duca spice is just really a nut relish or a nut blend. We can use whatever nuts you got around, walnuts, cashews, pine nuts, peanuts, whatever you want. Add some different flavors. You can put cayenne in there, fennel in there. Sesame seeds always important because I think that's the greatest umami bomb there is. Add a little citrus, sea salt, um, and chop it up because you don't want big, giant, nutty flavors. You want that kind of nuttiness to go all the way through a dish. You can also use a food processor for this. And then I always like to put some nice lemon in here. Touch of sea salt. Don't tell my grandma I stole her china. We're gonna add a little lemon zest to our Greek yogurt. And now a little bit of juice. And now we're gonna put in some dried Aleppo pepper. The yogurt cools the dish as you're eating it. Don't forget salt. This is what we're looking for right here. And this is how we like to plate at the restaurant. The Aleppo yogurt and the secret sauce right there. There it is, my friends. Finish with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's a beautiful herbs. Like it, subscribe to it, because this is Duca done right.